get ready. Hey there, friends, and welcome back to another What's Coming to Disney Plus UK video. If you're new to the channel, then hello and welcome. We make multiple Disney-inspired videos every week, as well as other updates throughout the month. So make sure to click that subscribe button and the notification bell. Everything in this video does come from Disney sources and are correct at the time of recording, but Disney do make it known that these are subject to change, which means they may add items or even take some away. As always, I will leave the timestamps in the description so you can just jump to the day that you want. With all that out of the way, let's see what's out this month. Starting with Wednesday the 5th of July, let's kick off the month with this really cool and very interesting show. We have Kizazi Moto Generation Fire. This action-packed animation sci-fi anthology presents 10 futuristic visions from Africa inspired by the continent's diverse histories and cultures. These shorts, made by a new generation of animation directors, draw on uniquely African perspectives to imagine brave new worlds of advanced technologies, aliens, spirits, and monsters. This is Africa as you've never seen it before. All episode will be released on the 5th. Just look at the artwork. Yeah, I am excited for this. Anyways, moving on. Next up on the 5th of July, we've got season 1 of The Watchful Eye. Eleanor Santos, a young woman with a complicated past, maneuvers her way into working as a live-in nanny for an affluent family in Manhattan, where she quickly learns that everyone in the mysterious building has deadly secrets and ulterior motives. Then heading to Friday the 7th of July, the hate you give, you spelt just the letter U, I hate that, so maybe it's the hate I give, that's also a single vowel letter. Anywho, Star Carter, an African-American teenager, faces pressure from various communities and tries to stand up for what is right after she witnesses the shooting of her best friend by the police. As part of Disney 100 anniversary, Disney Plus are releasing 28 newly restored Walt Disney Animation Studios classic shorts. To be honest, I am so glad we've had an announcement sent to us about this instead of them just being a surprise drop. These 28 shorts will be released over the next 4 months, but with this month on 7th of July, we are having the following. Aquamania from 1961. Avid water skier Goofy sets out to teach his son the fine art of the sport and accidentally winds up in a championship race. He encounters a hapless octopus and takes a detour on a roller coaster on his way to an unexpected victory. Fast Day from 1946, Figaro the Cat takes center stage after he gets a bath complete with ribbon and perfume from Minnie Mouse and then encounters a group of frisky alley cats. A frightened Figaro wins the day when his shaking topples a tower of trash cans onto his rival and he emerges the victor in the scuffle. Minnie rewards him with another bath. Building a Building from 1933, Mickey operates a steam shovel on a busy construction site where Minnie sells box lunches and a flirtatious Pete is the foreman. When Pete's advances cross the line, Mickey comes to Minnie's rescue, leading to a chase through a steel skeleton of a building and a riveting conclusion. Figaro and Frankie from 1947. Minnie's cat, Figaro, is trying to take a cat nap, but the canary, Frankie, insists on singing. A squabble ensues in which Frankie's cage topples. Minnie thinks Figaro has eaten Frankie, but the bird has simply flown the coop. In the end, Figaro rescues Frankie from the neighbor's dog and domestic tranquility is restored. Goofy's Gymnastics from 1949. Goofy enlists the aid of an instructional record and gymnastics equipment in an effort to become fit with the help of some barbells, chin-up bars, and cable expanders. In the process, he wrecks his floors, gets flung around the room, and falls out of the window before ending up approvingly behind the cutout of the muscular man he aspired to be. Then finally, a true classic with the skeleton dance from 1929. A lively quartet of graveyard skeletons come out to play and dance the night away in this spooky, silly symphony set to the macabre music of Edvard Grieg, adapted by Carl Stalling. Ab Iwerks's inventive animation uses plenty of graveyard gags involving animals and a skeletal xylophone. I wonder whether they will do a Disney 100 collection. If they don't by the end of the year, I'll do one. Let me know if you want me to do that. 
An unusual Disney Plus date of Saturday the 8th of July, we've got season 2 of Bleach 8000 Year Blood War. Ishigo Kurosagi and Irvu Ishida found out about the complicated origins of their powers at the end of part 1. They will now diverge into different paths and go from lifelong friends to mortal enemies. I haven't seen season 1 yet, but will give it a go sometime. Have you watched it? Let me know in the comments and try to sell it to me. Pitch it to me. But moving back to our regular programming with Wednesday the 12th of July, another FX series is out called The Secrets of Hillsong. This is a four-part documentary series based on the explosive original reporting on the mega churches scandals by Vanity Fair journalists Alex French and Dan Adler. This series features the first interviews with the two former pastors, Carl and Laura Lent, since their public ousting from the church, which for years counted musicians, actors, athletes and other celebrities among its flock. The documentary also features poignant conversations with many of the congregants navigating the still unfolding global reckoning, with the church facing further revelations. Featuring fresh reporting and analysis from journalists, historians and policymakers, the series goes beyond the sensational headlines and behind the velvet rope to examine the church's long pattern of covering up misconduct to protect itself. Ooh, interesting. All four episodes will be available on the 12th. Marvel fans may love this next one and I know a few people have asked me about it. Cloak and Dagger is coming on the 12th with all of season 1 and 2. After the collapse of an oil rig, two runaway teenagers acquire superpowers and get into trouble with a drug cartel. Things get even more complicated when they start falling for each other. Also we've got more Miraculous Tales of Ladybug and Cat Noir with Season 5. We've covered Miraculous Tales quite a few times, so let's move on to yet another FX series out on the 12th with Season 1 of The Company You Keep. A night of passion leads to love between conman Charlie and undercover CIA officer Emma, who are unknowingly on a collision course professionally. While Charlie ramps up the family business with sights set on getting out for good, Emma works to close in on the vengeful criminal who holds Charlie's family's debt in hand, forcing them to reckon with the lies they've told so they can save themselves and their families from disastrous consequences. The series is based on the Korean Broadcasting System series entitled My Fellow Citizens. Wow, Peter Petrelli from Heroes? I haven't seen him in anything since he had a weird role in the film Gamer. But for the young ones, we have 10 more episodes of Bluey. I know my brother and nephew will like this. We all know about Bluey by now, so let's move on. On Friday the 14th of July, apparently we have another concert of Imagine Dragons live in Vegas. Far from the days of playing in dive bars and casinos across the Las Vegas Strip, Imagine Dragons returns home to perform at the city's largest stage, Algin Stadium, in a triumphant concert film that showcases the band's rise to fame and the city that helped shape their sound. Just to manage expectations with this, that I have had no Disney Plus UK confirmation about this, just Hulu, but we can give an educated guess from the previous live concerts from Hulu coming to the star section. But then on Wednesday the 19th of July, we've got season 2 of The Bear. FX critically acclaimed original series The Bear is about food, family, the insanity of the grind, the beauty of sense of urgency and the steep slippery downsides. As young chef Kami and crew work to transform their grimy sandwich shop into the next level spot, they undertake transformational journeys of their own, each forced to confront the past and reckon with who they want to be in the future. All episodes will be released on the 19th. Also we got season 3 of FX's Dave. Dave centers on a neurotic man in his late 20s who has convinced himself that he is destined to be one of the best rappers of all time. Now he must convince his closest friends because with their help he actually might convince the world. Nothing announced for the following Friday, so next is Wednesday the 26th of July. Neil Patrick Harris returns to our screens with Drag Me To Dinner. If you want a great party, hire a party planner. If you want an outrageous, unforgettable party, call in a drag queen. Drag Me To Dinner is the new close-ended comedy competition that unlike other drag competitions doesn't take itself too seriously. In each hour-long episode, two pairs of queens go wig to wig in themed culinary and design challenges, attempting to throw the most fabulous dinner party yet. 
Okay, here's something new to put on the reality collection. All episodes will be released on the 26th of July. Double dose of Neil Patrick Harris with season two, part two of How I Met Your Father. Want a short synopsis of this? Well, here we go. Sophie tells her son the story of how she met his father. Mic drop. Let's move on. Then final day of new content on Friday the 28th of July. And we've got the wonderful world of Mickey Mouse Steamboat Silly. The beloved Emmy Award winning The Wonderful World of Mickey Mouse shorts culminate with a final episode titled Steamboat Silly, which follows Mickey Mouse and his friends as they must stop hundreds of old film reel versions of Mickey from wreaking havoc all over town. The short will debut on July 28th on Disney Plus as part of Disney's 100 year anniversary celebration. Now I'm not a fan of the new Mickey cartoons, which I am shocked with myself because I love Mickey, but I will watch this because of the Disney 100 celebrations. Some interesting things this month. I do wish they give us full listings, but ah well. We will work with what we are given. But just a heads up that in August, we will be getting season three of Only Murders in the Building and Ahsoka, so I can't wait for those. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and a notification bell for lots of Disney-inspired content. Oh, and follow us on our social medias. But until next time.